So originally this was going to be a video about Black Asta here, but I realized I was talking about Yuno too much, so now I'm going to make a video of how to fix Golden Dawn Yuno. other orphan besides Asta, Asta's rival, you know, of the Golden Dawn. Okay, you know, sucks. It, it, he sucks, okay? Like, like there's, there's no way to put it, alright? Uh, his, uh, his SR version sucks, gets overshadowed. This one could have been good, but th they somehow messed it up. And his swimsuit version is pretty decent, but... The you know does not have a good unit. Like he's not in a good position right now. So this is how I would fix you know for global because you know has the potential to be one of the best units in the game. Specifically this you know the Golden Dawn version. His kit is pretty misunderstood, and I like the idea they were going with him. All right, a silencer that also taunts, but the way they have him built, he just get shafted by other debuffers in the game like Lotus, which kinda sucks, but I think this Yuno know, has the potential to be the best counter to Finro and Valtos teams, a complete counter to all support mages. Let's go over his kits and stats to see what I'm talking about. Alright, so the only ones we really need to focus on is his attack, magic attack, and speed. Mostly his speed, but the other two kinda do matter. Now, just looking at his magic attack, it is really good. And his speed, 107, is pretty good as well. However, this is the issue with Yuno know, right away. So, he has 107 speed. He's gonna get outsped by uh, the support mages like Fenro and Valtos, and some debuffers like Lotus, depending on the builds. The other issue with this is the way Yuno's know, kit works. So, let's go over how his kit works. So, Yuno's know, ultimate is White Spear. Now, this is a single target ability, and it scales off his magic attack and attack. And what this ability does, it inflicts total silence on the enemy for two turns, and inflicts taunt on the enemy for one turn. This also will reduce the percentage mobility of an uh, enemy by 20%. This is a really good ultimate, and it is a single target. Now, this is where the issue lies with Yuno, know, and why his kit is most often misunderstood. You know his class is a debuffer, and he's not really tanky whatsoever, so often or not, that taunt is seen to be worthless on someone like Yuno. Know. However, this is the first change I would do to Yuno know before he comes to global in order to make him an amazing unit. First of all, his speed needs to be buffed massively. The reason why is, this ultimate ability would shut down Finro and Valtos completely, and no longer would you have to deal with a PvP arena where a Valtos or Finro outsped your Valtos or Finro, and now you're getting one-shotted by the enemy teams, Noel or Julius. If you know had a buff to his speed and they gave him a speed of 125 at max dupe, this would outspeed Valtos and Finro at their max dupe, and this would make Yuno a perfect counter to them. Because we all know, if Valtos or Finro gets taunted, they are not gonna buff the enemy's team. They are not gonna buff and raise their speed. So then, you probably are gonna win as soon as that happens, and their standard attacks are not strong, so you don't can easily tank whatever standard attack Valto and Finro does. No one's gonna build full magic attack Finro or Valtos. And if you do, uh, you're a bad man. Uh, please stay away from me. Now let's look at Yuno skill 2. So his skill 2 is called Swift White Bow. It has a 30% chance to inflict silent on an enemy for 2 turns. And it's an AoE ability which is pretty good, skills off attack and magic attack. Now with the skill page you get the chance to inflict minus 1 SP debuff on the enemy. Now I would change this to be this, inflict minus 2 SP debuff on the enemy and a chance to reduce their enemy's speed by 20%. The reason why I would do this is because minus 1 SP is not really the best, but minus 2 is way better. And also the debuff to their mobility is just to make, you know, a better debuff for all around. I think with the speed buff and if he's reducing enemy speed, he will be more versatile and this will make him be able to rival Lotus, who already has an AoE ability on his skill 1 that lowers enemies mobility. This would make, you know, a great option instead of getting overshadowed for Lotus. 
Now, moving on, let's look at his skill 1. His skill 1 is a single target that skills off magic attack and attack. And it is basically, if an enemy is affected with silence or total silence, there's a 50% chance to grant self a 20% mobility buff. Uh, pretty okay ability. It's not the greatest, it's not the best, but there's some things we can do to change it up and make it actually really good, alright? So since we already gave, you know, a big buff to his speed, and plus 20% chance just for a mobility increase isn't really the greatest, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that to if an enemy is affected with silence or total silence, you know will have on a hundred percent chance to grant himself a buff to his magic attack. Because this way, you know is gonna do more damage. Plus, he already has the speed. He's gonna outspeed everyone now. So what's the point of giving him another speed increase? So this way, you know can really benefit from total silencing others and making sure you don't get blitzed by the enemy team and he can give himself more damage. This will make him really good as a magic attack user to deal damage because we all know uh, full magic attack Lotus hurts. So that way, you know, still does not get overshadowed by Lotus. The next thing to look at at you know is his combo attack, which is a single target and 100% chance to inflict total silence. I say this skill is fine, it's really good. Um, I don't really see anything besides buffing it to two turns, but that might be pushing it. So I say we can keep that, that's fine. The only thing really to look at you know now is his passive. So his passive when he gets dupes 2 and 5 is upon attacking an enemy inflicted with silence or total silence grant self an SP buff plus 2. So um, that's kind of fine as well. I don't really see a way to like you know make it better. We could change it completely but I think that's that's honestly fine for you know like that's a really good passive. So his LR passive is this, if all allies have the power attribute, which is the red, grant self 20% increased mobility buff. Now the reason why this passive is bad is because you're forced to run all reds in order to make Yuno's passive work. If you have even one blue or green, Yuno's passive is worthless. So the first change we're going to do is this, if there's two or more units of the power attribute, Yuno will grant his entire team a 10% increase of mobility. This will make Yuno great, and this passive will work to include Yuno. So all you need is one more red, like a red Asta, or Witch Queen, or Black Asta, and Yuno will grant the entire team a mobility buff. That way, your entire team is benefiting from Yuno's passive. Now, if you want to run all reds with Yuno, then we're going to make sure there's a benefit to that too. So, we already get a mobility buff and there's two or more. So, if there's four un red units, what we're going to do is this. Yuno will grant the entire team not only a mobility buff, but an increase to magic attack and attack. This way, Yuno is benefiting the entire team and not himself. And plus, also, this can make it so Yuno benefits other units like Noel or Red Asta. Red Asta does not have magic attack, but Noel does, so that way, you're not forced to use specific units, that's why we're giving everyone a buff. Now this buff, to balance it, it's only gonna last the first turn, so the start of the round, and afterwards, the buff is gone. Making these changes to his passive would be great, so that way, if Yuno's not the only one benefiting from you using an entire team of reds, that way, the entire team is benefiting, and it makes it so you're not forced to use only reds with Yuno. This is a really good change to his passive and would make him a much better pick for a debuffer. So let's go over the changes we made. So the 100% thing he definitely needs before he becomes the global, he needs a buff to his speed. Now I say make him a 125 speed because his kit and his ultimate screams to shut down Finral and Valtos 100%. It's literally meant to shut down support mages. There is no disadvantage to really having that increase of speed like maybe we can make the argument like oh but it'll be so unfair because the other you know could shut down your da 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 but like let's be honest I, I, i'm sick of seeing Valtos and Finro everywhere i'm sure you are too so please please but 125 speed max do please so he can outspeed them and shut them down the other change we made is to add a 40 percent chance to inflict 20 percent reduce mobility on enemy with his skill too and if you have the skill page, then he will inflict SP minus 2 instead of 1. This is done to give, you know, some, some kind of way to rival Lotus, as Lotus skill 1 reduces enemies uh, mobility. And this is also gives him a nice little buff with the skill page, because minus 1 SP is not doing anything. Minus 2 actually can hurt enemy team, 
We're gonna keep the cooldown the same of three turns. That way, this skill is not broken, and you're not constantly um, removing SP because Mage Blessing exists. That has a chance to reduce the cooldown of your skill too. So. Pretty much if you got lucky every other turn you can pretty much minus 2 SP the enemy team and th that's kind of unfair and broken to be honest so that's the change we'll do for his skill too. We reworked his skill 1 in order to increase his magic attack by 2 and for 2 turns. This is done because why do we need a mobility increase when we just buff his speed greatly so we just switch that around a little bit of a rework. And this will really help Yuno to do more damage and to rival Lotus because Lotus does crazy damage if left unchecked with the full magic attack build. The last thing we changed was to rework his LR passive, which to better benefit the team instead of just benefiting Yuno, which was if there's two reds, Yuno counts as one, so you would just need one more. He will grant the entire team a 10% increased mobility buff. And if there's four of them, then Yuno will grant everyone a increase in their magic attack and normal attack for one round at the start of the turn. This will be really great and make Yuno a fantastic debuffer slash support choice for your red teams. So overall, I think these changes would really make Yuno a great unit and really make him shine because let's face it, Yuno, come on, he's the main character. Like he's one of the main characters. He, make him good. Now, the only other thing that can happen is if the spear dive Yuno comes out. It does all this, but better than everything I said here will be irrelevant. But hey, who knows? Th this was pretty fun to make. So, you know, uh, I say overall, please hire me. Hashtag not sponsor. All right, but in all seriousness, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more of me doing this, I plan to do something similar for Black Asta. And I would love to do other characters like, you know, um, Jack or maybe even Yami. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It took a while to edit it. So yeah, um, my Black Ops video will be coming out soon. So I hope you guys look forward to that. And if you really like my, you know, how to make it better, please drop a like, subscribe, share it around, tell everyone, and remember everyone, whatever you do, don't join the, you know, fan club. I'm already beating it. Goodbye!